You're apologizing. Yes. I'm sorry. I was very quick to accuse you. But, Beth, look at what you did. You, you, you took off with Lizzie. You, know, you didn't tell anybody. I had no idea where you were going Philip, or you why. Know why I didn't. No, I didn't, Beth. I didn't know anything. All I knew is that you took off with Lizzie without saying a word and you sent Harley that note. What the hell was oh, I supposed come to on, think? Philip. You have known me for most of my life, and you think that I'm capable of murder? No, of course I don't. I didn't think you were capable of contemplating suicide, either. I don't, I don't mean that. <laughs> I don't want to sit in judgment of you, Beth. I really don't. I know that you have had a rough time. I know you've had a very rough time. Yes, yes, I have. I'm not, I'm not completely oblivious. It may seem like that, but I'm not. I know that this situation with Harley has been very difficult on you, and it, I, I wish that there were an easier way. But I think we both know that there isn't. For what it's worth, um, I'm sorry it took something like this, but I'm very happy if you feel like you've gotten to the other side. You are. Don't you know that I am always going to care about you? I want you to be happy. And I want us to be friends. I, I, I want us to be good parents for Lizzie. This is, this is really it. Isn't it? I'm telling you, Michelle, Marcus is not acting like himself. That doesn't mean he's being unfaithful to you. Hey, you. <laughs> you still looking for a table? Because I've got something coming up over there. Oh, you're such a street wise cookie. You don't know much about diner come on etiquette, do you? You almost blew it for that guy. Well, and you're the big expert, huh? Yeah, I mean, you know, when the guy's standing next to a you know, girl in a booth, you, you need to juggle, you know, books or coffee or whatever, you know, and then maybe she'll ask you to sit down, you know? Huh. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not 20 anymore. Hey, Michelle. Hi, David. Hi, I don't think we've met. Oh, I'm sorry, Diane Creed, David Grant. Hi. Hi. David just moved back in town. Yeah, I'm working with Harley Cooper in, uh, in her PI office. Really? Yeah. So you you check up on people, Dahlia? Yeah, I do all kinds of checking up. Uh, look, please sit sit down. Thank you. Um, so what what kind of cases do you handle? Uh, well, basically, you're uh, garden variety kinds of things. That's all. Right, like um, cheating husbands, stuff like that. Yeah, I hope you're not in uh, need of for that kind of service. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not married. It's just, uh, but I have a friend who is, mm. and she's, she's kind of in, in trouble right now. So maybe I could just ask you a few questions about how you go about checking up on someone. Sure. Would you excuse me? I have a phone call to make. So, your friend, um, what she thinks her man is stepping out on her. Your friend, what, she thinks her husband is sleeping with someone else? <sighs> oh, I think your friend has a lady who could use some help, huh? Jesse, where are you? I had such a great time last night, I can't even tell you. I'm so proud of you and all you've accomplished, and I'm just missing you, you know? Can't stop thinking about your hands. Jesse, where are you? Okay, before you say anything, just look at this. Just look at what I did. Drew, I don't know the first thing about running a club. 
Why would you want me? Because I trust you. I know you won't steal from me. I don't know. Hey, Mick is <laughs> lots of fortune and interest, Jesse. Yes. Yeah, so, so if you start, let's say today, you can pay him back that much faster. I can't. Look, I, I appreciate the offer, you but can't. I can't. Okay, fine. You know, I don't have any ulterior motives, if that's what you're thinking. I just want the best for you. Maybe you'll know that someday. Maybe you won't. Look, what I know is that Michelle will never see this, okay? That's what's important to me. <laughs> How are you going to pay Mick back, Jesse? What are you going to do? Are you going to rob a convenience store? I'm going to go pay Buzz a visit. Oh, Buzz. Buzz is the new sucker, huh? No, Buzz knows how to help out a friend when he needs. Thanks, anyway. Sure. Jesse, good luck with Mick. Thank you. Mick, it's Drew. I know I told you I wouldn't need your help anymore, but I changed my mind. Why? Jesse's on the way to the diner now to get money to repay you, and that can't happen. Not now. So, you have to fix it. Yeah, I, I need him dangling still. Listen, I don't want you to hurt him, okay? Mick! No, I don't get you. I don't get you. I don't get you at all. What the hell is going on with you, huh? Why don't you tell me? What is it that you want, Hart? Do you even know yourself what yeah, you want? Yeah, I do. I know what I want, I think. I, I, I want to be happy. That's it. I want to be happy. I want to have a normal life. I want to be a good father to my children. And you think you can do that? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can do that. You know, I know that we're not like these couples in there. How could I forget that? But, Dinah? That doesn't mean we can't be good parents. That doesn't mean we can't raise a child together. I know you don't like Cassie. That's an understatement. I know you don't want her involved in this, but you know what? She's in my life. You have to accept that. She's going to be in my life. She's going to be involved. So the quicker we can get past all that, maybe we can make this work. Oh, well, isn't that a nice little speech? Keep talking. I mean, keep telling yourself these things. Maybe eventually you'll start believing them. I don't know. I know what was going on in that room, though. I know. And I know you, so stop lying to yourself, because that's what you're doing. You care about me, Hart. You care about me, and you're afraid to admit it. You know what I think? I think that you want both of us. I think you want me and Cassie. And I think that you don't know what to do about it. I can't believe I'm sitting here. Confiding in Dinah's mother. I can't believe this. I should have never said anything to you. I should have kept my mouth shut. That's what I should have done. No, you shouldn't. I'm glad you told me, and I understand. I, uh, I know that you and Hart love each other, and you're planning to spend your lives together, and that's... that's a good thing. And as for my daughter, I love her very much, and... I want what's good for her, and if, Hart, if Hart's in love with you, it's obviously... You know, Dinah is going to come to understand that... She will. She will. Thank you. <sighs> for what? For understanding. It's been really hard not to have anyone to talk to. Yeah, I bet. I bet it's been terrible. You are going to tell Hart, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I was just going to wait till we went on vacation. You know, um... Dinah's not going to be thrilled about this news. I need you to do something for me, Vanessa. What? Keep this a secret. Oh, Cassie, I... Vanessa, please. You can't tell anyone. 